Hey everyone, so it's been a while since I made a video again. So, uh, just going for a ride, gonna update you on what's been going on. Uh, first of all, I'm not on my 150 Super Hornet. I'm on a little 50cc Tau Tau. And, uh, I'll talk about that and, and then the reason why I haven't been able to go camping or hiking or uh, squirrel hunting so uh, let me get turned here and then I'll get started so first of all the uh, the 50cc Tau Tau uh, I no longer have the 150 Super Hornet um, if you've seen my other videos on the Super Hornet, uh, you kind of know the story. Uh, I won't go over the whole thing, but basically, um, I sold it, had to take a loss on it because uh, I was basically scammed out of a title. I bought the 150 Super Hornet from an online website based out of Las Vegas, and eventually i pretty much figured out that it was a scam company a lot of bad reviews on it and i was scammed out of a title myself so uh about the only thing i could do if uh, i wanted to keep it was to take legal action and the cost and the time it would have taken to get it all fixed just wasn't worth it to me so the only thing I could do was just you know sell it for parts or you know whatever you know somebody wants to do with it but it's never going to be road legal without the original title um, you know by me first you know no one else will be able to get a title there's nothing they can do to get a title. I recently got into uh, door dashing. So I got this 50cc Tau Tau uh, for door dashing. Um, I decided that I no longer want my motorcycle license. I still have a permit. You know, I was planning on getting my motorcycle license for that 150 Super Hornet. And uh, you know, that all happened with uh, the title and decided, you know, I, I don't want my license anymore. I'll just uh, ride this 50cc. It's good enough. It saves gas. I can door dash with it. And all I need is just, uh, you know, just a regular driver's license to ride this thing. So, that's the uh, update on the Super Hornet. I no longer have it. Not going to get my motorcycle license. Just got a 50 Tau Tau for door dashing. And I'm happy. So now, next update. Uh, why I haven't been camping or hiking or squirrel hunting or doing anything out in the woods. Um... So, back in July, I think it was like around the first week of July, I was planning on uh, going camping again. And I had the date set, I knew the weekend, and was ready to go. And then, and I was going to go camping out at thousand hills state park i hadn't been there for a while you know it's a nice long hike two and a half hour hike out to the backpack camp and i was ready to go well uh i was getting ready to go and you know all planned out and then news broke out that you know not far from the park uh just you know west of the park 
basically the same forest area there was a murder and some guy you know murdered another guy and and since it was right there at the park all the trails were shut down nobody was allowed to go on the trails and there was basically a, a huge manhunt for this guy and I believe it was like July 5th when it happened and it was a few days after that you know when when it really hit the news and the trail all the trails in the park were shut down and and eventually the US Marshals came out here and they were looking for him too and 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 then a few days after the trails were shut down they ended up shutting down the whole park so nobody was allowed in the park and there were like you know sightings or false sightings that were checked out and but you know he was also ex-military too so that was a big thing too he was ex-military and yeah and that's why there was this huge manhunt for him because with his skills uh you know they were saying you know he'll be able to survive out there in the woods for a long time so we had no idea how long it was going to take to to catch him or you know if he was in the park or if he was long gone uh so it was just you know the waiting game to you know find out what was gonna happen with this guy and and if they were gonna catch him or not so uh anyway and i also didn't want to go camping anywhere else you know because there was sugar creek too you know i go to sugar creek a lot and Big Creek is uh, right next to Thousand Hills, so I'm sure that was closed down too. But Sugar Creek is farther south. But the thing is, you know, the way the forest is, is set up, you know, and the way it runs, uh, Thousand Hills is uh, pretty much the, you know, the top of the forest and then it just goes south for like oh i'd say about 30 miles um 30 or 40 miles south and so you got thousand hills and then a little farther south you got sugar creek and then you got long branch state park and it, it, it's all connected so I'm thinking you know well they got Thousand Hills shut down but yeah I still don't want to go to Sugar Creek or Long Branch because what if he's moving south you know if he wants to stay in the woods he can move south for you know 30 40 miles before it opens up the fields so um every day you know, i'm checking the news and every few days there were sightings in different locations and and this started back uh you know first or second week of july and today is september 8th but it was just yesterday um i think wednesday september 7th uh they finally found his body and he was only a quarter mile from where the murder took place so he wasn't very far at all he did you know he didn't leave and take off and go anywhere and you know, he pretty much stayed right there and all this time no one could find him u.s marshals dogs you know drones helicopters and you know no one found him but he was just a quarter mile from where the, the murder took place. 
and yeah and there's some uh you know stories going around about that you know did he actually murder the guy you know did somebody else murder the guy and then murder him yeah you know, just there's still you know some doubt going on about what exactly happened but when they found him uh they had to identify him through dental records because he was you know unrecognizable so now they're trying to figure out how long he's been dead um but in the end you know now that now that they found him yeah i i think um he did murder the guy and uh since they found a handgun uh near him i'm thinking maybe he offed himself but uh but now that he's found and this is all over uh, i'm ready to go camping again so i'll be doing that here pretty soon i'll probably go to uh sugar creek um i don't know yet it's cold at night now it gets down to you know the mid 50s so uh it's definitely cool enough to go camping but i'll probably wait on the thousand hills till it cools down a little bit more in the day because it's a two and a half hour hike and I'd hate to hike that long with the backpack when it's too hot and I'd rather not hike later in the day where it's getting dark by the time we get there so I'll probably go to Sugar Creek here pretty soon um, do some camping finally and uh, far as squirrel hunting um, I'll probably be doing that here again pretty soon. Another thing I've been wanting to do is get out to the shooting range. I haven't done that in a while. Uh, basically, I just put everything on hold. Because around the same time, I started door dashing. Um, I actually quit my job to door dash. Um, yeah, it was right, right around the same time uh, this whole murder thing happened because I quit my job uh, July 3rd, the day before 4th of July, and uh, started door dashing. The murder happened, I think, July 5th, and then I just I just put everything on hold and uh, started doing the door dashing. Cause I wanted to get that going, make some money, and find out exactly, you know, how it was gonna work out. Because I quit my job for door dashing, and I set my weekly goal. Um, my weekly goal, along with uh, what my wife makes, you know, it all works out. And I've been making my weekly goal, so everything worked out and uh i'm taking the day off today which is uh pretty awesome because uh that's what door dashing is all about you work when you want you work as many hours as you want and take whatever day off you want so Basically, you're your own boss. So, I'm going to find a parking lot here pretty soon. Pull over and get off and show you the bike. A little 50cc Tau Tau Pony is what it's called. And, uh, what I like to say is, uh, I may not be fast, but I'm saving gas.
All right, I'll park right here. And get off and show the bike a little. So there it is. 50cc Tao Tao Pony. Bought it off from a lady on Facebook Marketplace. I think it had 1,100 kilometers on it. Um, so now it's got 1,600 kilometers. I don't know how many miles that is. But basically I'll do oil changes every 2,000 kilometers um, is what it says. And it did come with the trunk. It had, you know, it's got the bracket and uh, the trunk. I took the trunk off and um, I'll show pictures of my DoorDash setup. But basically I got a, a, like one of them wire closet shelves from Home Depot. And uh, put like 25 zip ties on it. I don't know, but it's on there. And, and then I strap my bag to it. And I go door dashing. But I just took it off for today. To go riding around. Um, not sure how that happened. But it was like that when I got it. It works. And I gotta fix my tail light here. Because it doesn't like to stay in. Um, the uh, tab on it is broke. So I'll probably just tape it on. But yeah basically um, you got your gas here. And. Yeah, it takes about $3 to fill up, and um, I need to figure out the mileage on it, but uh, they say it usually goes about 90 to 100 miles per gallon. And then you got your uh, storage here. I got a cup holder here from one of my door dashing orders. But basically, yeah, you got... Nice big uh, storage area there. You can fit a helmet. Uh, not sure if I'll ever use the trunk again. Um, if I need some kind of trunk. You know, I, I don't always take the uh, uh, wire base off. I just did it today. To uh, go riding without it. But usually I just leave the uh, the wire base on. And just take the bag off when uh, I'm not using it. So, uh, yeah, um, that's it. It's a Tao Tao Pony. Um, yeah, your electric start here, your kill switch, electric start, um, low beam, high beam, turn signal, so you got right, and then off, left, off, and your horn. So, uh, get back out on the road. It usually goes about 30, 35 on flat ground. Um, if I'm going downhill, it gets up to about 40, 45. But not too bad, uh, you know, just door dashing around town. Yeah, I keep up with traffic. Well, I'm going to head on home for today. I just wanted to come on here and give an update on what's been going on. And where I've been. And uh, let you know that here pretty soon I will be going out camping. And uh, going out to the shooting range too. I want to get some more target practice in. But yeah, that's what's going on and hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you again next time.